What's going on guys, Ism here, and today I'm going to do something completely different that I've never done on this channel, although I have made guides before, just not specifically PUBG. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to commentate over what I'm doing, how I'm, what I'm uh, going to do, how am I doing it, or just all, all the above. That way I can tell you what I'm doing at that moment in time, and maybe later on it'll help you in a game, but... You don't really want to copy my playstyle. just take notes of what I'm doing, uh, what I'm doing wrong, and all that nonsense that I'll be pointing out. Now, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and sub. And in the comment section, if you enjoy these types of videos, please tell me. I'd love to hear feedback. And or if it helps you, I'd love to know too. Now, before I jump off the plane and to a spot, I normally look at my spot, of course, but I also oh look to God, where I go out of the way of other no way. players if I can help it. If I can't help it, I will contest other players, which is very important of survivability. Now, Battle Royale is not all about getting kills and this and that. It's not about camping. It's not about, it's all strategic, right? So if, you, if you're in a building, you hear people around you, you're using the sound, the audio to know where that player is at. That way you could pop out and own them or miss all your shots. Who knows? But here I pretty much go, it's Sandhawk, so it's quite small and I'm going out of my way, but there's at least one person with me and multiple other people on the other side. But right now I'm focusing on this one person. I'm going to go down and I'm going to find a gun immediately. If not armor as well, because that's important. If you get shot in the head by almost any gun, it's a one tap. So as I jump out, I immediately go after him. He's not going after a gun. He doesn't have a gun. He's not even in the building yet. Jumps over the wall, runs to the wall. It kind of looks like this player disconnected, but I think it's just a bot. Uh, luckily luckily for me, that's just a bot because if it was an actual player, he probably would have gotten on the building and then gotten a gun, which would have been a shotgun because that's all that's in this building with shotguns. So it would have been a shotgun battle for sure. But luckily I got some armor Dude, and a helmet shotgun, and maybe that would protect me a, bit, a bit, but shotguns are pretty good in PUBG at the moment. Now, as I continue to loot, I will, you know, occasionally look around me and, and audio is most definitely important. Make sure you don't hear anyone. Now, if you're not hearing anyone and someone pops out and shoots you and you didn't hear them, well, that's most likely because they were slow walking or just sat there waiting for you. And like I said, it's all about strategy. So you have to play your part in the game. Right now, I'm just looting up, of course, but I um, won't take too much time. What you need is just a little bit of meds. I have four med uh, first aids already, and I think when I, I when I venture out and I'm done looting, I, that means I'll have my uh, full auto weapon, my sniper or DMR or whatever I have, uh, or plenty of things that I can survive on for a while. Now, I just heard a car 98 shot. I thought it was towards me, but it, I don't think it was, so part honestly like when that happens you hear a shot and it wasn't toward you i don't normally would go after it i do i do check it out like currently right now i'm just checking it out and see like wait a minute okay so that shot was really close is it near me so i don't think really much of it because i don't want to you know if there is no shame and just leaving when you hear a shot there there is no shame when the circle gets small and you have to hear you hear shots well of course you want to take out as many people as possible before it encloses. Yes, but right now, the circle is 69 people alive or 68, well, 67 now. And I'm just like, I, I'm not even thinking any over it, but I'm still looking behind me, make sure that I don't get shot in the back. So I'm always looking at that area. You can either use your hold down alt, alt look, or you know, you could just, just turn around and look. But at the moment, I'm going with an ump instead of the. Uh, uh, eight, I think I had an AK. I'm not really sure what I had or a vector, I believe, but um, SMGs are kind of my go-to. Sometimes I will I will go after an M4. Uh, it, all, it all depends on my spray that day. Like it, my sprays on most uh, 7.62 weapons are pretty bad, but I've been I've been trying to get better at them. Uh, even though I've been I have 3,000 hours in this game, which might not be a lot, but I t I did take a four I think a four year hiatus from PUBG and I came back. And I've actually been enjoying solos. So I currently hear someone, surprisingly enough, I hear someone full running and I c catch a really, you know, slight glimpse of him twice. And I was like, wait, wait, what is he doing? He's just running. And well, again, it's a bot. In any scenario, a, an actual player would have probably cleared out the compound I was in. That way they would have known I was there, right? Probably. I don't know. But that's, that's what I would, I, when I see buildings, I normally want to at least look at them and see if there's any movement in, around them. If there are, well, then I'm going to try to clear it out if it's in my way. I currently hear shots back uh, past the bridge 
And this is where I normally have, when I have the car 98, I will take shots. Um, unluckily, like, I've only found four times, uh, pretty much all this night that I played PUBG. And as you can tell, it's not, it's not my best suit. I love four times, but right now it's not working for me at all. Like, I would prefer, I guess, at this range of six times or something. But what you always, always have to remember when you have people all like far away from you and you're shooting at them from this distance and people hear that well they're going to probably come by come from behind and attack you so you should always remember when you shoot you most likely always want to reposition if you don't reposition right now i'm just standing so this is what i'm doing wrong i, I am moving but i'm not moving enough right so I need to move more away from where I'm shooting at. That way, if someone comes down, they'll go like, okay, so he was in this spot somewhere, but then I'll be long gone all the way around. But if I'm still shooting at him, just trying to get a pick, well, I mean, they're going to know I'm there. Now, I was originally shooting at a bot. Right now, I'm shooting at a player behind a rock, and he's got a sniper rifle, and I have a sniper rifle. But when you see that little sliver of their head above any object... Like right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like one little, it's like a turtle shell popping up from behind a rock or from behind a box or something. And that's all you see is their head, which that's, that's called the OG PUBG head glitch. And it has never been dealt with ever. So basically what happens is the camera is like up here, right? So they're gonna see over, over the rock with their camera, but all we're going to see is their head. So at any moment in time, if you want to contest that, that's fine. But I, honestly, my position nine times out of 10, I do miss. I but majority of the time, you know, I, probably like what four times out of 10, I, I will hit them. And those are the best moments. Now, the, the person did move new, move on from the rock and he's fighting the other player in which I'm trying to get the pick off from him. So and it doesn't work out. I'm still standing in the same spot shooting my sniper rifle. But I mean, right. All I know is the, the the only person that was behind me was the person I killed the, on the very first drop. So maybe there's no one else Damn, around me. I, I don't know until the, unless they rotate. Today. But always remember your surroundings. You always got to remember your surroundings. Look behind you. Check for audio uh, signals. If you don't hear or see anything, then you might be fine. But you know, you can never tell. It, it's like. In any case, in any majority of the scenarios in PUBG, when I'm like when you're running around, around like this and someone sees you before you see them, you're most likely dead because, well, if they hit their shots with any almost any weapon, yeah, you're you're gonna get hit hard. And if b before you even get in hit, uh, before you get in, into cover, they're most likely gonna kill you. <laughs> I mean, it's no easy way to say it, right? So uh, right now I'm boosting up. The circle's getting uh, close. I'm halfway to circle. And the problem is, I know this guy that I was trying to shoot at originally won that gunfight. And I'm trying to see where I'm going to go next. I want to go on the bridge, but I, I was like, mm, I really don't because I, then I have to go around boot camp. But if I go the other way, I'm going to go straight into boot camp. Uh, I take, I take the, uh, the risk of going this way around the boot camp, around the other buildings but also taking the risk that that player is still going to be coming around that way. So this is what I look for. Exactly what I'm doing. I'm making sure where he's at, and I spot him right there. Gosh, I know he's over there. It's just a matter of finding him. So right there, what I just did was I shot. I shot. I have a tree in front of me, but you don't ever want to shoot someone when you, you probably don't have any cover, which I do. And it was kind of a bad spot. He could easily throw a nade behind this one tree or, you know, go around, keep keep flanking me from the side, keep throwing nades, which he doesn't. So luck, luckily for me, when I missed, I missed that, I missed that shot, right? So luckily for me, I, um, he did turn around and I knew he would. Well, I almost knew he would, but I didn't know he was going to, okay? So as you see me peek left and right, left, and right, I, I do not peek the same side. Sometimes I make the mistake to do that, but sometimes when you peek the same spot more than once, then they're not going to expect it. So uh, right now I get hit, which if you get hit like that and you're like, whoa, I'm behind the tree. Well, your arm is sticking out. 
right your arm is going to be sticking out you always got to remember your arms probably going to be sticking out especially when you're reloading or doing an action uh luckily uh this this is great here. for molotov or you know stuns that way you can easily push or try to get him with the molotov but i overthrew my molotov unluckily so uh he does have a lot of meds he has i think he had like seven first aids and i picked up every single med he had and this is probably a good thing but also a bad thing like you know the ratio between the ratio of meds and and stuff that you want like meds ammo anything that you want you know it's got to be balanced so i should be good on that unless i miss every shot and I keep reloading then i'm going to be out car 98 i know i normally hold way too many uh bullets for the car 98 or my snipers in general i hold around 100 <laughs> 762 or whatever the ammo is uh, 12, 12 but uh, i mean so hey I'm listen like if i want to miss my shots i'm going to do it with 100 rounds okay so the bad thing is is uh when you pick a fight uh, always remember where the circle's at and always remember the phase right now we're in phase three and we we were fighting and the circle is coming in so now I have to fight the circle and Sandhawk or any in almost any other uh, map depending on how far the circle leans to you're probably going to end up fighting the circle the entire time while fighting behind the circle and the circle comes in and consumes you but right now I have 12 right meds 11 right, right, right now and I have th this is probably the only time that I would do this right if i have plenty of meds and i do have plenty of meds so there, there like i said there's no shame in doing yeah, most things and right this. now for me there's no shame in using the uh, my meds to my advantage and the circle to my advantage right now because right at the moment i don't want to go into those buildings or go through the buildings because there could be someone in them waiting for the circle to move which has 15 seconds left so right now my plan is to go all the way That's around hard, i'm going to go all the way around to the but slow end of the so circle so the circle move, so. the blue will start easing in slower on one side uh, which is uh, close to me but right now i'm hearing shots right in front of me and someone's shooting at a person i guess on the right that's from from what i can get in the context here and that guy dies so i'm gonna heal and i had almost half health before i was gonna go up and fight always remember your health too when you're behind the circle it's going to be ticking a lot especially phase three uh so always remember your health before you get into a fight now i'm trying to look for the person that killed that dude and i don't realize this but right now i'm actually looking he actually died from another person so yes i uh, also i heard that dude pop up on me and it was a bot so right now, uh, at this moment in time, I don't know that the person who killed the other guy is still down there, if he's dead or whatever. But like I said, uh, right, just right now, I was like, whoa, okay, so he did die from someone else. So hey, now that I know that, Easelman, the game doesn't know that, so I'm still trying to look for him <laughs> my entire way through. So if you don't see who killed a person, I, I saw who killed him, but I didn't see that he died later on, like five seconds later. So I'm still trying to look for whoever that is, where is he at, and if I don't see him, then I'm just going to continue on and just kind of risk it, uh, because the circle's about to hit phase four, and I don't want to waste any more meds, so I need to get in quick, but I keep looking. So as I make my way around, I'm going into the circle, because I can't wait any longer for this guy to come out. And I'm going to heal before I, uh, I pop out. Now I know there is an M24 to my right. There's shots to my left, so keep in mind when you hear shots, you need to keep in uh, you, you keep track of them. That way, you know who you're gonna get uh, get into a fight with potentially in that area. Now, I hear uh, I did hear M24 shots to my right, and it, I think in this entire game, I I don't know where he's at. I just don't know where he's at, sadly. Oh, and now, I I never know where he's at. I hear him, but I mean that's that the power of, of suppression, running. I guess. But I'm still trying to look for him. I'm, I'm looking behind me to see if that guy comes down, which he never does. And I know I noticed this uh, guy named Brappage <laughs> is uh, is killing just about everyone. I don't I don't know. Uh, he, he killed the other guy, which he makes his way all the way around the opposite side of me, and I have no idea how he did that so fast. Um, to be honest, because he was all the way down there where the I'm other guy was looking for the behind blue the blue uh, was at. So I know this M24 guy is up here close 
uh, he moved from my, my right to my left, and that's where I'm looking right now. I'm trying to see where he's at, because every time he guys, shoots, uh, I'm going to hear it, and I'm going to be like, well, where are you at? And I'm, I'm, pay I'm playing it caution cautiously. So always remember to boost up, especially when, when you're down to top 10, and especially when you have as many meds as I do, sky is the freaking limit for how many meds you're going to be using. So I'm not worried about how many meds I, uh, I'm going to be using at this moment in time. Now, play on survivability. If you see someone in front of you and you, you, you can take the shot and you know you can kill them, then own it, own it, own it. Right now, I'm, I'm still looking for players. I, I think, luckily enough, that I make my way around, uh, uh, you know, bouncing off away from other players, good, getting into a good position, and I'm going around everyone. Which for me, it's good, and I normally do this in Sandhawk. For I, it's luck, it's not skill, it's luck, because all I'm doing is um, I'm using the power of audio to see where people are at by shots, and all, all I'm looking for is the M24 guy, and I have no idea where he's at. So I'm at the edge of the circle right now, and I need to figure out where I'm going to go. Uh, I end up going down in the quarry, but I'm kind of hesitant about it because. I don't want to be opened up to, to my, uh, was it south and uh, yeah, or the east, excuse me, and, because someone could kill me right now from the, the top of that hill and it's bad <laughs> or right someone up top can, can kill me. If they hear me, I'm most likely dead because high ground. Well, if you ever watch star Wars, you know, high ground, well, you know what that means, but you could probably get a good headshot off if you're lucky enough. If someone uh, wants to shoot down at me, There's still a lot of people alive. I don't know, it's but luckily no one did, and I'm on my way. I see someone just standing there, so if I gave away my position by doing that, that's fine. You always want to you want to give away your position if you know you can you can kill someone. That was a bot just standing there. If that no one was like shooting at him. Shot. That probably means no one either can see him at the moment there. or they just, you know, didn't, didn't care enough to look around that area, which is good in my case because the person, people are in front of me that are fighting. And if I can get a pick off right now, people when I heard the shots right of a now, fight, better. I want to see if right. I can pick someone off because the more people I pick off towards this end of the circle, the better for me, especially around me. Now, I, I did hear shots to my left and I currently, I just... Everyone's just invisible for me right now. I don't know if my eyes are bad or I don't know if my eyes are bad or it's just the the fact that uh, I'm they're just that good. Now the M24 guy is over there somewhere, and I just don't spot him at all. I, I swear he's over there somewhere. I don't spot him. Um, I'm also hesitant on where to go. I don't want to go up here, even though I have cover, but also I don't want to go down there and get stuck. Now. I'm looking up at the hill, make sure I'm covered. I, like, like I said, I make, I try to make another attempt down there, or um, at least I'm looking down there to see if there's anyone down there. And if there were, if there was someone down there, I'd have to fight him. But uh, I know someone's in this compound right now because I heard him with the AUG. And, and this is the Brappage guy that killed the uh, other guy uh, behind the circle, somehow made his way up top. Now, if you look at the top right, the P90, that that's a scary gun very scary gun so i'm pretty scared at the moment because nah, there's no kick to that damn gun i've used it before and uh, crate weapons are op now right now i have full boost remember full boost is really important that way you get the speed boost and healing uh, quick healing as as much as possible now this this all guy is killing everyone on my side good for me but also bad for me because he's a pretty good player if he's killing this many p uh, people right there he is and he he sees me he spots me luckily i get the headshot off and like i said if you can take the shot take it luckily uh he saw me and he 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 went for the shot but i went for a better shot that's that's why you don't peek me when i know you're there now i didn't know he saw me at first until he stopped and peeked and that was his his first mistake of doing that. I don't know why he did it out in the open. And he just stopped. He just stopped and leaned, which was number one mistake because I had cover and he didn't. So I could easily went behind my cover and and he, he couldn't do anything about it. But I got a headshot off. So uh, you know, luckily luckily for me that was a that was a good deal. Now I know that that compound right there is cleared out to my left, and I uh, the the I know one guy's up there. And I don't know where the other guy is. So 
when uh, I cleared out this compound, or at least that guy did, and I killed him, so I know it's potentially cleared. Uh, the last shots I heard from up top was from this one guy, um, and I know he's still up there. Now, where is the, the last guy? There's only three people left counting me, so there's only two people left. Where is the last guy is always the question, right? Always the question. So if you, <laughs> if you, if you keep waiting, you will figure it out. But, uh, I think I eventually spot someone up top and I, I reposition because the circle is about to move. Now I hear shots, right? Are the last two people fighting? Maybe. I don't know if someone's trying to bait or it's the last two people fighting. And I hear nades. I hear gunshots. So it's but most likely two, the last, last two, two people, people are fighting up. that I can ev eventually do a 1v1. Like, I'll let them fight it out. I don't... Um, if you could take a shot, take it. But you'll give away position for the last person to figure out where you're at and then eventually get you because you made a mistake. So, always remember, use survivability to your advantage. Now the circle is moving, so I have to reposition. I can't. St I, I can stay back here, but that tree is pretty small. Right now, I'm just trying to see the last people. I see this guy right here. He's up there. I take the shot, and he dies. Well, I was going to take the, si the shot. Excuse me. And then the last guy, I knew where he was at. And the pro dude, he made a huge mistake, a very big error. And this is what we call human error. <laughs> <laughs> because he made a very very big mistake so i see this guy i was going to take the shot give away my position but i needed to eliminate him and he was fighting the other guy which i think he actually shot him a lot or the other guy was uh i don't know he was hurt or whatever but he's the the dude that got killed he's not uh the guy who killed him has the p90 so i am terrified of the p90 and the only reason why i'm terrified of it is because it does it doesn't kick when you shoot it, it's it's like uh, when the AUG was a crate weapon or when a majority of the weapons are now ground loot were was in there in the crates. And they're scary weapons because they're meant to be OP. And yeah, so this guy right here. So I know he's somewhere around here and I look. When I'm looking, I'm looking and boom, I spot his bag right here. I spot his bag and the thing is if he has a sniper like a really good sniper he gets a headshot off me i could probably survive it but I'm, i'll be most likely dead if uh if i can't survive it so yeah uh and then for some absolutely reason absolutely terrible reason he peeks like that what is that now let me let me explain something when you peek on the left side it is much worse than peeking on the right side because i think you are exposing more of your body but he's not leaning at all he is not leaning at all when, when i by peeking i mean lean peeking because of uh, you you expose more of yourself by lean peeking to the left than you to the right for some reason i don't i don't understand why i, I but i'm not left ha uh, handed so maybe that's the case maybe on the right side i'm, I'm a little bit better with it because i'm right handed i pff, i don't think that's the thing but Listen, don't ever do that. Don't if you're always if you're looking for someone, wait for the circle. But the problem is he has to come to me. He and he has no cover down there. Maybe that tree to the to my left, if that's on his side. But he has absolutely no cover. And uh, if you look on the circle, it, I don't think that fence is actually in. If it is, I'd be completely amazed. So I'm actually in a good position. All I have to do is wait for him to go in the blue. And, or the circle and I could just tap him out right now but he made the fatal error of peeking like that I don't understand why he did that and I took the shot and I win the game well guys that is it for this video if you did enjoy make sure that like button and sub and if you did enjoy these types of videos of uh, me explaining what I'm doing and if it helped you please tell me in the comments and if you want me to keep doing these videos, I'd love to know as well. The feedback, most of all, as constructive as possible. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.